Aries. Hi. Welcome to your love reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. A general reading, guys. So this may or may not resonate with every Aries watching this video. If you do need a personal reading, that information is going to be down in the description box below. Okay. <coughs> Overall energy. We do have the Sun in reverse here. There is a lack of clarity, okay? Someone feels like they've left, they've been left in the dark. You could be waiting for a commitment. You could be waiting for uh, someone to come towards you uh, with a brand new beginning, which they are, okay? We do have the Ace of Pentacles as the current situation. So there is a solid new beginning coming in for you, okay? However, because of lack of communication, maybe you guys are in separation, maybe you guys are in no contact, but then it's like, you know, everything's in the dark. Everything's left in the dark. Could be someone who's operating more from their ego and being a little childish and kiddish, okay? But you do have a lot of love for this person, okay? You're just not trying to show that love. You're suppressing your emotions right now. You love this person to the moon and back, but you're trying to give it a more mature look and trying to keep your emotions to yourself because you cannot walk away from this person. You could have tried to walk away, like I say, right? In the past, there could have been something which is a very spiritual connection, okay? You could have even have learned your lessons in the past and walked away from this person. <clears throat> I do see communication coming in though, okay? But this communication is coming in, but there is someone here in this environment who still feels that self-doubt. This is someone who's not using their skills and abilities, okay, to the utmo utmost potential to make things happen. They do have a lot of opportunities uh, around them to make it happen, all right? But it's just that their ways, their approach towards you is always like very manipulative or someone who's just got a lot of self-doubt like is Aries gonna take me back now you know are they gonna accept this brand new beginning this practical beginning that I want that I'm wanting to offer this person you definitely are stuck on this person this person is stuck on you but I think this person is just trying to figure a way out of how to come towards you because I don't think like you're keeping your option uh, you're, you're keeping this uh, the lines of communication open with this person okay what's the sun in reverse In reverse. Yeah, like I said, right, there's a lot of depression that you're going on right now. In a very depressive state right now, okay? You're emotionally shut down, not wanting to be vulnerable. There was a relationship you saw a lot of potential in, but now that's no longer happening, okay? Not wanting to open up. That's a lot of sadness. What's the Ace of Cups in reverse? I mean, the tough part is that you love someone so much, but when it's like, you know, when you're supposed to shut it down and not being able to show this person, you know, your emotions. What's the Ace of Cups in reverse? What? <clears throat> Why the Ace of Cups in reverse? So, you're stuck on this person. Could be that the person that you're dealing with, right, is holding back or you're holding back or you could be dealing with someone, you know, who is always very shut off emotionally. Could be dealing with someone who was not really into that commitment thing, okay? Someone who always wanted to be single, they thought they had a gift of the gap. Someone, you know, who always thought they could have, they just had like their way around you, you know? They could say whatever they want and get whatever they want. But um, I do see you, I, I do see someone returning back to you, okay? This person cannot move on, you can't move on. So yeah, you're both on the same page that way. But you know what, more than anything, you can't move on, but what I'm getting from them is like this person is not being able to... They need to transit, you know, there needs to be a transition in this relationship, okay? Where they can move forward towards you, but before they move forward towards you, there is something that they need to change. There is some change that is needed here, okay? Which they are not willing to do because it pushes them outside their comfort zone. What's the Hierophant? What's the Hierophant in the past? Queen of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> Could be another person involved here with the Queen of Wands in reverse. But I feel like you backed out from a commitment, okay? Or there was um, something that you were very, very committed to once, okay, in the past year. But you just completely backed off. You just pulled back your energies. You stopped taking action. You were very, very laid back, you know. Could be someone you're dealing with who was... Um, two ways either this is you or this was someone you're dealing with who just did not take proper action towards you okay someone who you felt was constantly playing with your emotions what's the queen of wands in reverse i mean in the past also this person refused to make those changes and they still kind of are what's the queen of wands in reverse 
moon and that's why everything was left in the dark everything was unknown the moon and the sun and river same thing right lack of clarity that that illumination that epiphany is not there that clarity things that are hidden were still dark it was still hidden in the past and that's where there was a lot of stress anxiety but a lot of fear of the unknown in the past but again you didn't know where what was leading where and that's why you probably copped out or because this person wasn't taking action but at the same time you felt it was very spiritual connection okay so that's something that misled you that's something that gave you mixed signals okay <clears throat> star but however this was someone who you had a wish for from and this was someone you put on a you put on a pedestal okay you thought this uh, this was a a situation or a connection that was very very destined and fated what's the ace of pentacles in the current situation someone's watching <laughs> They're looking at you from a distance, okay? Either you have a beginning somewhere else, or this is this person who's wanting to come towards you with this practical new beginning, okay? The, the Ace of Pentacles is again, it is a commitment, but it is again like you know what, like all right, you know what, let's please let's restart this connection. But this time, let's start it with not emotions, not with um, not only with communication and clarity, not only with passion, but this time, let's start it with something tangible, okay? Something that we can sustain, and something that's. Um, uh, that gives you a little bit of security and stability. I'm not saying that this person is coming in with a marriage offer, but this is what it could lead to if there is a lot of effort, investment, energy put into this. Okay. The Ace of Pentacles is um, it's a small seed, right? It's a gift from the universe, right? And it's going to take a lot for you to nurture this connection. <clears throat> and someone's watching you from a distance, whether you know this or not. Okay. What's the Page of Swords? This is watching, spying, stalking. What's the fate of swords? Looking at your social media. But yeah, I think this is somewhat... I, I don't think you're putting effort into this anymore. Again, King of Cups here. We have the King of Cups twice here. Either this is both of you, which I don't <coughs> think it is, but yeah, again. I'm getting you... There is a lot of love here, but you refuse to put in the work into this connection. Like, yeah, you can watch all you want. That's what your energy is. You can watch all you want. But I am probably not, you're literally focused on anything but this connection right now. Because this person probably put you in the dark throughout. Could be a third person involved here with the Queen of Wands here. She is usually a third person here. Doesn't have to be, right? But yeah. Someone could be jealous. But there's a lack of effort here right now. Again, one person is looking... And they want this with you, but they're watching you from a distance, probably waiting for the right time to come in. But there's one person here, it could be you probably who's refusing to put in the work because of fear of lacking reciprocity, okay? You don't know if this person is going to put into the work, put in the work this time or not, or is it always going to be you? Is it still going to be you putting in all the work and this person does nothing about it? What's the Knight of Swords? You have communication coming in in the near future. Someone's rushing in. Who's the Knight of Swords? <clears throat> Again. If you guys have been in separation, right? There's someone who's coming out of isolation ready to talk to you. This person's done a lot of thinking, a lot of inter self-introspection, a lot of what, where, when, how, why. A lot of thinking has been done, okay? Someone who's been thinking very logically about the situation. And now they're coming out of isolation. They're ready to get back to you and talk to you, okay? And they're rushing in. They're rushing in with some communication. I feel this person has had a lot of time. They could have, they could have put things on hold. Things would have been stagnant for a very long time, okay, again, this is also lack of action. But yeah, they're coming in, they've tried to have a different point of view, and they're ready to um, release themselves, you know, literally like, you know, like literally unstuck. And coming in, what's the hermit in reverse? This trying to see things from your point of view now. What's the hermit in reverse? They see th they're seeing this connection in a different point of view, in a different perspective. What's the hermit in reverse? Yeah, see, someone who you've had a lot of false starts with, right? <clears throat> this is someone, you know, who you could have given a lot of chances, okay, to come correct towards you, but they didn't. Now they're watching you, now that you put, you know, like I'm literally getting someone who's like, you know what, I'm done with this bullshit. I'm no more investing my time and energy. You're no more my passion. I'm going to go after what I want. Because you wanted something committed to the higher front, or you wanted something traditional, or... 
you looked at this correction as something very spiritual, something very divine, something very fated, something very, which was meant to be. Maybe you put in your all. Maybe you were the one who was very committed in the relationship. But then again, things were always in the unknown. It was always that gray area. And that's something that you never wanted. Now they're coming in with this offer, okay? They're watching you, but I don't think you're interested in putting in the work. Probably that's why they're getting drawn towards you because you completely withdrawn your energies. You've pulled back, retreated. Your focus is not them. I'm trying to check on you what you're up to. But anyways, they're coming in with some communication. <clears throat> this is going to be very unexpected. It's going to shock you. But yeah, someone's, someone's coming. The ghost is back. This is someone who's um, been deceptive in the past, you know, seven of swords energy in reverse now. Someone who's feeling guilty, been deceptive in the past, who's not been clear about their intentions, or someone who's been hiding their feelings, or someone who's, you know, always had the feelings, but they've been suppressing their feelings for you. It's all coming out in the open, which I like. What's the king of cups? That's how you see yourself. Why the king of cups? What's the king of cups? See? Ten of swords in reverse. You're trying to heal from this relationship, okay? You're trying to get over this <clears throat> connection and wanting to move on. Because you, this person has left you very backstrapped, betrayed, high and dry. For sure. Uh, you could have manifested this person or, you know, you could have literally waited for this person to come in towards you for a very long time. Again, with the hangman, it shows me that this was a relationship that was on a pause for a very long time, okay? But I guess you took that pause as an ending. And now you're ready to release that pain. You don't want to put yourself in that place which gives you a lot of agony, a lot of pain, a lot of suffering. You're ready to release yourself from that. What's the Ten of Swords in reverse? <clears throat> like, you literally, I'm seeing you have your, um, you have your emotions in check. Your head and heart are in balance. You've mastered your emotions. So probably earlier you didn't. Probably earlier you were the one who was very clingy, needy. You, you know, every single time this person would do something wrong and it would just completely shake your foundation, okay? But yeah, now you're very... I'm getting experience because the King of Cups is a very wise person, right? They learn from their experiences. That's what I'm getting here. Very balanced look. Very balanced... Uh, um, you have a very balanced approach towards the, towards the situation. Although you cannot move on, You'd love for this person to come back. You'd like to come back. You cannot move on even if you tried. But yeah, you're not showing it. What's the Ten of Swords in reverse? You're not showing it. And that's what's confusing this person. That's why this person is watching you because you refuse to put in the work. You're very focused on your career, your work, your goals. You're being very selfish. Earlier they were very selfish. Now you're being selfish. <clears throat> you're not offering this person that stability, security that you once did. Neither are you giving in the passion, nor are you giving it that stability, that kind of commitment that they saw in you earlier. You're being very stubborn, very stubborn this time, okay? You have trust issues with this person. There's been a breakup, separation, like I said before, right? I mean, it was like an amazing soulmate connection. But I'm forced to say that there is a lot of love here, but it, something tells me that you guys are just not seeing eye to eye right now, okay? So I'm getting that you were the one who was constantly pursuing this relationship only because they see this as a very masculine energy and this person was someone very feminine, very laid out, laid back. Now that you're letting this go, right? You're no more putting your effort into this. They're wanting to come in with that effort. But again, they're very careful about what they say. They're watching. They're going to take their own time. But regardless, I think right now they're probably watching the near future. If you continue to do this, if you continue to not put in the work, they're going to come in. They're going to come out of their shell and they're going to come and talk to you. And they're going to, um, literally, they're feeling guilty. They're returning back, that's for sure. That is if you continue to stay in your corner. <clears throat> it's like literally I'm getting, if you don't do the talking, that's fine. They will, regardless, they will. Because right now you're very focused, okay, on healing this. Like, whatever happened, happened. You want to put the old things back, okay? You want to move forward? Uh, of course, again, you have a lot of stuff. Don't get me wrong. But again, you're like, well, if it has to happen, it will, okay? But right now, I have no time. You know, I got no time for this shit. Who's this magician in reverse heading in your environment that you don't see coming? Who's the magician in reverse? Say, someone who you had a breakup with. They're coming back. They're coming back. Very slow-moving energy. 
you could be dealing with this person you know who is like very very slow towards you and you'd be like you know what like i don't even know if you're in this relationship with me if this connection is getting anywhere because they were just slow i thought they didn't I'm, i'm getting this person lack that motivation that goal to put in the work okay probably because you were putting on all the work all this while all right but yeah this is someone who wants to uh, come in towards you but again magician in reverse right this person has a lot of doubt if things are going to work out they can make it happen they can make it happen but the thing is that that confidence they're lacking that self confidence okay they feel the need to manipulate you manipulate the situation in order for you to get back what's the two of cups in reverse and they again they have a trick up their sleeve again the magician in reverse yet yeah, it's it, it, it's like a con man someone who's manipulative someone who's deceptive someone who's wearing a false mask but again you're in love with this person okay you're in love with this person I feel this person is now coming in and they're ready to be with you. What's the two of cups in reverse? They want to give up their old ways. What's the two of cups in reverse? What's the two of cups in reverse? It is a magician in reverse, but again, it's telling me um say nine of pentacles, right? This is someone who has everything that they need. Okay? This could be someone who always wanted to be Okay, there was a lot of love here, but this is someone who always was very afraid of losing their independence. they're coming in to express their love they're expressing their love they're coming in to be vulnerable fast communication online communication quick communication could be living at a distance from you okay i think this person with the nine of pentacles they realize your worth they realize your value they realize you're not going to give a shit to them if this is if this is their ways if this is the on approach that they're going to make towards you with the seven of swords it's not going to work and they realize your value after this breakup okay They do. They have been manipulative in the past, etc. They're coming in with that energy, but again, I feel that this person now realizes your value. They realize you're okay on your own, whether you're with them, without them. You're not that codependent energy. You know, you're not clingy, needy. You know, you're someone they look in. They look at you in good light. Okay. What's the eight of cups in reverse? They, they literally, I'm getting like someone who feels you don't need them anymore. What's the eight of cups in reverse? Financially independent, uh, doing good in your career, your goals, you're good with your money, you're enjoying the best of life, chilling with your friends, hanging out, all that. What's the, all that good stuff? What's the eight of cups in reverse? Yeah, you can't even move back from this person, but now again, you just have to. I'm getting like that. The love is here, right? This is <clears throat> this is a twin flame connection. That's why it's so tough for you, you know. I mean, I can understand what you're going through. It's really hard on you to move on from this person. Maybe you don't even have to, but in order for you to make this person realize to be with you on the same page or in order for you to make this person learn their lessons, you're going to have to walk away because that's another lesson for you. To move on from a relationship that doesn't make you happy. You're not being able to do it. Oh, well it is a lesson okay and with the emperor you i feel you're setting healthy boundaries here you're taking control of your situation control of your life control of the love life you're no longer keeping your boundaries low you have your guards up you're going to teach this person what structure is you're going to literally teach this person what commitment means and you're believe me with the king of pentacles in reverse and the emperor here seriously no shit bro you're being logical as fuck at least with the emperor here suppressing your emotions see there is so much emotions here right but you're just like you know what come down bro i'm going to straight on this guy or girl whatever it is but yeah you're making boss moves this person is literally this person couldn't have expected you to do this okay they probably thought they you always are going to keep putting in the work why the emperor why the emperor you're being stubborn you want what you want and if you don't get what you want you're ready to walk away uh what's the emperor the eight of swords but there's something that's keeping you stuck on them right look um could be dealing with someone who's emotionally unavailable someone emotionally manipulative too but with the eight of swords yeah, i feel there's something that's keeping you stuck here right you can walk away from this but with the eight of cups here in reverse you can't because you're finding it very difficult to walk away from a situation that you're so super invested into You've given it your all, right? You've come to the eight of cups. You're just two cups away from the ten of cups, right? So it's like that close that you are. You wanted your end all be all with this person. You wanted family, commitment, etc., right? But with the eight of swords, your guys, if you want to walk away, you can. It's not going to be difficult. 
What I don't like here is with the King of Pentacles in reverse here, this is you forcing all your energy, forcing, com completely trying to numb the pain that you're feeling and putting all your energy into your career goals. But this is not really a good energy where you're so focused on your career goals because your intention is not to make the money. Your intention is not to focus on the career. Your intention out here is more like, I want to heal from the pain. Now, we're not talking. I don't know when this person's going to gonna come back. Everything's unknown. I don't know if things are going to work out. It's hurting. You're hurting badly, right? You're reaching a burnout here, okay, with the Eight of Pentacles. This could also be reaching a burnout where you're overworking yourself, being a workaholic, okay, working day and night. But yeah, this is not only bad for your career goals because your intention is not to, to focus on the career, right? Your attention is on moving away from that person, but it's anyways not helping. It's still not helping with Eight of Swords. You're making things even worse. You can get out of it in a more easier way by getting your energies correct, but you're making things even worse. The actions are correct, but your subconscious mind is still, you're still stuck on this person. That's why the Eight of Cups in reverse. Sometimes you would have walked away. What's the likely outcome? Why is the King of Pentacles in reverse as the likely outcome? Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I guess um, there's someone who's coming towards you. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse is delay, right? Again, this person is still not learning their lessons. There is a lot of stagnancy between you guys. Something's, uh, uh, it's almost like a cycle that's going and there's a negative pattern that's repeating itself. So like I said, right, Magician in reverse. They do realize your worth and value, right? But again, two kings here. I don't think this is the same person. This is you and this is them. Who's again coming around but without learning their lessons here, okay? They want to work with you, Three of Pentacles. They want to build with you, okay? But again... Someone who's just not ready to um, cut that pattern out. I'm not saying this person's not serious. Yes, they are serious. But again, Magician in Reverse, Seven of Swords in Reverse. This is Seven of Swords is, is a repetitive action, right? This person keeps repeating that pattern, okay? They come in, they come in towards you. They, they, they say something that makes you feel like, okay, this person's genuine. This time it's going to work out. And then it's like those, that, that pattern of false starts. And again, they disappear. Again, they come back towards you and the same cycle, okay? What's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Mm -hmm. Something's going to need some time. What's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? There are unforeseen negative changes that you're going to be going through. So many cars want to come out, but they just won't fall out. What's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Just wanted to come out. See, you're not ready to risk, take a risk with this person. This person wants a second chance with you. Yeah, they definitely want a second chance with you. They want a second opportunity with you. They want to work with you with the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, but you're like, no, I've had it. I'm done. Done and dusted. You're looking, okay, seriously. I understand that this is risky business for you. Okay. But again, let something run its course. This is a very frustrating delay here. Okay, so probably when this person comes in, you're going to be like, okay, like, thank God they're coming in. But again, the way they're coming in is, right, is again, very selfish, very greedy. You're both mirroring each other. That's why we saw the lovers, right? But the lovers are still on the spread, which means there's some more time before you guys get into union. It is a twin flame connection, agreed. But then something's going to take some more time, okay? There's still some frustrating delays. You guys still need to learn your lessons. The timing is just not right. And there's someone here, again, who's just not ready for this leap of faith. This person still needs some time to grow up. Still needs some time because they're still stuck on that, taking that leaps of doubt here. Magician in reverse. They're constantly doubting themselves if they can make it, make it happen. Or this is just you who just thinks like, you know what, fuck it. This is very risky business. And this person cannot be trusted. You have huge trust issues with this person, okay? And that could be one of the reasons why things don't move forward. So yeah, take it how it resonates. Could be you, could be them. So that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope this reading resonates with you. And like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.